Hey there everyone, this is Gil, this is Rex Rue here, and welcome back to the end of the gimmick tutorial. Today, what we're going to be doing is going over some Kirby abilities, i.e. when Kirby sucks up an enemy and basically swallows him into the, the void that is Kirby's mouth, and uh, you gain the ability of the enemy in which you swallowed. So, uh, basically how this works, we have little Kirby objects here, and we can press spacebar to do that awesome little suck ability, but you'll notice that nothing's happening to our little unanimated fire enemy here. That's because we're not close enough to him. So we get a little bit closer, and now, whoa! But damn! <laughs> We've now sucked our enemy inside of our mouth, and we're huge, and uh, we can't spit him out because I didn't code that in, because mainly I just wanted to get the abilities out of the way, but if we do press down on the keyboard whilst we have our enemy in our mouth, we turn into a nicely animated fire Kirby, and that, my friends, is what we're going to be going over today. So, without further ado, let's go and exit out of this, head back into Game Maker Studio, and see how this all works. Alright, so first thing I'd like to go over is the uh, sprites here on the left, because we do have quite a couple of them, and they're not all needed, but I just put them in there, obviously, for nice lookingness, whatever. Um, so basically, all the sprites that you're going to really need if you just want to follow this for the abilities, uh, which I'm sure you probably do, is the idle sprite here, the Kirby idle sprite, um, the Kirby suck sprite, I guess you really don't need any of these, you could just do it with all the idle, but it looks nice, and you can kind of see what's going on with the suck sprite. Uh, the hold sprite, and the uh, ability sprite, so this is my Kirby Fire one here. Alright, and then of course you're also going to need an enemy, and I just put in the nice enemy, oops, the enemy roll for, for looking nice again. So yeah, alright, and also one really quick thing I'd like to mention with these sprites is I set them all to 16 by 16 origin, so I like centered all of them, just so the transition between like regular Kirby and huge like Kirby with enemy in his mouth uh, is somewhat smooth, alright? So without further ado, we're already two minutes into the tutorial, <laughs> let's get right into it with the objects. So the main object here, obj underscore Kirby, uh, have a create event, some code here, and what we're doing here is setting up some initial variables. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this ice variable, um, but basically what this fire variable here, we'll get into this second and carrying in just a bit here, but the fire variable, uh, and the reason why I had the ice one there is because basically how this tutorial will work is when you suck up an enemy, uh, whether it's a fire type or like an ice type, it will uh, initiate the variable. And you can, like, once you get more enemies in here, I guess you could do it, like, for their names. So if you had, like, something called, like, an enemy called Buzz, you could go Buzz equals false. And then you can initiate it when you uh, swallow him. And then, that you basically, that's so you'll know to turn into uh, the according Kirby object. Alright? So <laughs> that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, but don't worry, it will later on. And whoa, that is a lot of code. What's going on? I thought this was a simple ability tutorial. Don't worry, it is. Uh, a lot of this is just copied and repasted over, and you'll see how easy it is in just a bit here. And I'll try to go over it somewhat quickly so we can get it over with. So what we have is if distance to object obj fire, which is our fire enemy, is less than 100 and sucking equals true. So when our Kirby guy is sucking... Um, sounds so weird. When, he, when he's trying to bring enemies into his mouth, um, <laughs> and obj underscore fire dot suck will equal true. So this distance here, this 100, uh, if you make that higher number, uh, it will be, you'll have to be further away from the enemy, but if you make it shorter, you can be closer and still suck him in, okay? And then obviously obj fire dot suck equals true. Uh, we didn't go over that yet, but we will momentarily, so keep that in mind. Also, all this code will be in the description, and if it's not, it will be in a paste bin, which will still be in the description, so you can copy and paste it in. You don't have to type it all out. Alright, and if keyboard underscore check VK left, this is my movement code, but we also have some uh, a variable in here. This is our carry variable we went over in the beginning, um, and this basically says that if we're carrying an enemy in our mouth while we're moving, uh, we want to make sure to have that carrying sprite always present, so it's like, you know, when we move, we don't want the regular sprite to activate, we always want our holding sprite, so long as we are holding something in our mouth. Alright, and then I basically just copied all of this, and put it all here, and just changed it to moving right, and uh, really, that's the only important thing you need, um, if you have your own movement code, then, I mean, you can just paste it in there, the main important thing is the carry and the sprite for your movement, alright? So, going down here, we can obviously skip all of this, which is awesome. Told you guys it wasn't too bad. 
uh, we have if keyboard underscore check VK no key. So if we're pressing nothing, or nothing um, then we're just going to have our idle sprites. Uh, so yeah. And now you might be wondering, Rex, why is it that when we have nothing, we're going to just do a regular idle sprite? I mean, wouldn't we want to also check for our carrying animation thingamajig, right? <laughs> Well, the answer to that is no, because basically down here is where we're initiating all that carry stuff so that we keep uh, the carry sprite when we're not doing anything. So we have if carry equals true, sprite index equals sbr underscore k underscore hold, so carrying sprite, and uh, that kind of takes care of all that. So, yeah. All right, and then finally we have uh, if keyboard underscore check underscore press VK down, uh, then we also check if our carrying is true. So if we have something in our mouth while we're pressing the down key on our keyboard, instance change OBJ Kirby fire, and then obviously the events are going to be true. So this really quickly is where you would, because I only have one enemy in here, I didn't really bother placing in variables to check what enemy you swallowed, but this is where you would do it, okay? So if you had multiple enemy types, so fire type, ice type, water type, whatever, fighting type, um, you would go ahead and put below this, or, uh, excuse me, this is belonging to that, alright, you would go ahead and put below this, start a block and end a block, uh, if or wait yeah, yeah yeah okay so if fire equals true right you would go do, 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 do. Have one of those and I believe no did I do it wrong I always get confused with the start of block and end of blocks here okay so that's belonging to that one that belongs to that one and then this okay alright we'll go ahead and this belongs to this perfect 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 Get rid of that guy. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm just messing this up all over the place, aren't I? Alright, so let's go ahead and if Gary equals true, we start a block. Alright, we'll do the end of block. And so that should belong to that. And instance change. <laughs> My gosh. Alright, so we have that. And then this is encompassed in between that. Should actually do another one of those. Or those. Okay, well I just completely messed myself up. But basically <laughs> we're taking up more time than we need to. Basically, you would say um, you would test your variables here, and then depending on which variable it would be, you would change your object accordingly. So if I was sucking a, up a fire object, then um, and I had one in my mouth, rather, and I pressed down, and fire was equal to true, then instance would change into OBJ Kirby fire. So, yeah, that's how that works. Did that save? I think it did, didn't it? Gosh dang it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and just get rid of this altogether. But yeah, so hopefully that, <laughs> hopefully that makes sense. Oh, man, my goodness. And we're only on the first object still, and we're up to eight minutes. Gosh darn it. Alright, let's try to speed through this. So... If speed equals zero, uh, so when you press space, this is our sucking up here. If speed equals zero, so if we're not moving, we can suck. Uh, or we just suck sprite will uh, activate. There's the speed for it, and then obviously our sucking variable is true. And then if image inject index equals four, uh, then image speed uh, will equal zero. Okay. So once it's like at the very end, then it will stop at the last like image of the sprite. All right, and then. Uh, when we release the space button, sucking equals false, and obj underscore dot fire, uh, or fire dot suck equals false. Okay, so the fire object here, so we have suck equals false, which we've seen a couple of times in the Kirby object. And here's the step event, so if suck equals true, so if it's being sucked, then underscore, or sprite underscore index equals uh, our rolling sprite, so when the enemy is rolling, and then move underscore towards uh, point obj kirby xy at a speed of 3, so he'll move towards our kirby object, and if suck is false, so all of a sudden we just release spacebar and suck equals false, uh, then speed equals 0, so he'll stop, and then his sprite index will change back into his regular sprite. Alright, and then if place meeting obj kirby, so for colliding with our Kirby object, and sucking equals true, so if we're sucking him in as well, then obj underscore Kirby dot carry, there's our carry sprite we've seen, equals true, and we destroy this object. Alright, and finally, the last object, which actually doesn't really matter, because you could really put whatever in here, because once Kirby changes to this object, this is where you would start putting in, like, fire attacks and all that fun stuff, okay? So, that... <laughs> 
<laughs> Hopefully all of that makes sense. I know we had a little bit of a, a weird mix up over here in the step object or step event of the object, but everything should be good now. And uh, obviously all the code will be in the description, so you can copy and paste anyway. And uh, I should also have this engine ready for download if you want to do that as well. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below in the comment section or by the time you're watching this, wherever it is, <laughs> wherever YouTube decides to place it. And if you have any record <coughs> tutorials excuse me, that you would like to request, uh, feel free to post them in the comment section below as well. And until next time, guys, until next video, hopefully you enjoyed this video. This has been Rex Furry, and as always, I'll see you all then.